day started like any other. Little did I know then, it was the beginning of the end for all of us. They attacked at dawn, Plastro's elite guard, hundreds of them, coming through that portal like a swarm of angry wasps. Bravo Company was a ragtag team of battle-hardened commandos. We got split up when the Tans fired the opening salvo. Me and my bazooka man Riff were cut off from the others. We found cover and assessed the situation. The Tans had air support. Our guys didn't know what hit them. At ease. Plastro has surrendered. The Green Nation is victorious. And you're still pacing, Colonel? We have a situation. Situation? Seems all the Terran have surrendered, except for an isolated renegade faction. Operation Vengeance? We can't be sure. We sent a squad there on recon, but we haven't heard a peep from them. We intercepted this radio message. This is Lord Malice. Do not fear surrender, my brother. For a new dawn is upon us. A month ago, one of our weapons labs was attacked. Their target was to steal some of our production modes. Army men infantry modes. Malice is in charge of the renegade outfit in the big world, and now he may have the ability to make an army. The peace ceremony is tonight. If he's planning something, I want to know about it ASAP. I need you to rescue the missing recon squad, find our modes, and bring Malice back. This will be a cakewalk, sir. I told my squad to grab some R&R &R and then to meet me at the peace ceremony at exactly 1700 hours. The ceremony was where Plastero and Grimm would sign the surrender treaty. Then the war would be over. But my gut told me something different. I had a bad feeling about this mission. A real bad feeling. That incompetent Plastro has made his last mistake. The Tan will never surrender to the Green Army. In fact, by sundown, there won't be a Green Army. Is the Vengeance device ready? Yes, Lord Malice. The package has been delivered. Excellent. Let the festivities begin. <laughs> My heart stopped when I saw the document. They were planning to detonate a bomb at the peace ceremony. Colonel Grimm and my squad were there. It was just about to begin. I was running out of time. My mind raced as I tried to figure out where the bomb was planted. That's when he made his presence known. Yeah, what is it? It's been such a long time, Sarge. Oh, how I've waited for this moment. It was Malice. I recognized his voice from the tape. I was so hoping you'd be around to celebrate the peace sign. Malice, the war's over. The war will be over when I say it's over. I wanted to tell you that I've sent a present to the ceremony tonight. A little peace offering. A statue. Are you insane? Destroy Greentown? Delicious, isn't it? But Plastro's there. The heroes. A trifle of a sacrifice, wouldn't you say? In exchange for world domination? But then, you understand sacrifice better than anyone. Don't you, Sarge? Tonight will be a new dawn. My army of vengeance shall rise to power, while Greentown lays a smoking mass. Of rubble. Why are you doing this? Only to see your pain as your beloved squad is incinerated before your eyes. I swear, if anything happens... You'll do what? That's what I thought. Nothing. Their fate is in your hands. <laughs>
As I made my way toward ground zero, my fear was then realized. Grim, Scorch, Thick, Hoover, Shrap, and Riff, dead, all dead. Please, Lord, not. Sarge? Vicky, <laughs> hang on. It's gonna uh, be okay. <laughs> Looks like we won't be dancing at the ceremony tonight, huh, Sarge? Oh, Vicky. <laughs> I love you, Sarge. Uh. Tango. Bravo to Tango. We need some heat down here fast. Grid Square, Foxtrot 3. We can't hold out much longer. I called in an airstrike. In a few moments, it was going to get hot. Real hot. I had to move fast. There was nothing but scorched plastic that used to be our squad. Even Gooding bit it. Never had a chance. War as hell. They're all dead. Let's get out of here! So remember how you left me to die that day. Left you? What are you talking about? Go ahead. Finish me off for good this time. But you were... I saw it. And then he told me. He recounted the events of that day. But his version was different than mine. When the squad was ambushed, he said he took the first bullet. Chopper took off that day. <laughs> Major Gooding died. And Lord Malice was born. Eventually, the Tan found me. They pieced me back together. They showed me more mercy than my own nation. You murdered the innocent. No one is innocent in war, Sarge. Since that day, I've dreamed of making you suffer the way I did. <coughs> I wanted you to pay. It was over. I'd waited for this moment for so long, and now I felt nothing. Malice was dead. Grim, the heroes, and Vicky dead. I tried to make sense of what happened, but the only clear thing that kept 
ripping through my skull was that war makes no sense. War is hell, all right. And hell is for heroes.